Hello YouTube. Well, there's no videos complete without a, a quick shot of Tiger. There's a, hello Tiger Man. That's Tiger Man, my snail Bengal. There you go. Say hello, old blue eyes. Right, back on with the uh, the business now then. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. What should we shot? I move my screwdriver. <laughs> right. Well, let's have a look at this casing first. It's not bad. It's not bad, really. I got that grotty sticker off. That came off right enough, no problem. Big scratching paint, that'll need flattening out. Yeah. yeah. That'll look okay in satin black, that will. It will, that'll look just fine. That'll look just fine. I have to excuse me recycling. Right, here we go. Now then, we have a look inside. And as you can see, everything's pretty okay. There's nothing wrong there. Nothing wrong. Nothing to see here. Step away, step away. In fact, no, don't step away. Stay, stay, so I can keep telling you stuff. Now then, listen. What I did is, as you remember me saying, the transformer mounting screws underneath had gone loose. Because it's been rocking about and I'm really no, no rubber feet on bottom. So, what I've done is I've tightened them. But for future reference, what I've done, now the camera won't pick this up, but what I've done is, if you look down there, there are the screws as they come through, and they clamp that saddle down there, and that pulls the transformer down and stops it from vibrating. But what I've done is, as I've tightened them, I've got them as tight as I possibly can, as you can see. And what I've done is I've put a dollop of... Put a dollop of super glue on them to act as stud lock. Now, any of you motor mechanics out there, now I'm a former motor mechanic myself, any of you former motor mechanics will, uh, will bear me out on this. When you've tightened stuff up, sometimes where there's vibration present, there's a need sometimes to put a, a locking compound on called Loctite or stud lock, or it can be called anything, but uh, a lot of different products do the same job. And that's what I've done. So, in future, any of the vibrations from the transformer will not vibrate this saddle loose. And so, because it was buzzing and vibrating a little bit, but I, I had a funny feeling and I, I knew what it was going to be. And my suspicions were right. I did know that it was these that had come loose. And apart from that, it worked absolutely superb. More blooming messages oh dear so that's it look out for part three really and it's going to be a nice rattle can spray job on the casing and bolt it back together and then it's just a case of waiting for the rubber feet to turn up so but they're only £1.99 off ebay free postage too so there you go that should uh, that should be okay so it's good. Oh, no, no, no. Before I go, now then. Now then, now then, now then. We've all seen them cheap little mad mounts on eBay. I get a lot of stuff off eBay because it's just easier than walking to the shop. Now then. A lot of them come with them thick rubber boots on the bottom, don't they? Now, I understand that they're not going to scratch your paint surface. Here's a little tip for you. You know the cheap magnetic signs that you get? Cut a disc of that out. Stick it on the bottom. I super glue mine on, to be honest, because it's waterproof. And then what you do is you stick a, a little piece of that plastic sign on, trim to size so it's nice and neat and tidy. And if you look, that's not half as thick as that great stupid piece of rubber that they send with it, and it sticks to your car just as just as tight can be, and it doesn't scratch your paint either. So there you go. You can have that tip for free. 